Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to another week of Instagram stories. Today is celebrating week 39. Yeah, buddy. Hey, that's not much of a celebration. Whatever, man. I want to celebrate whatever the fuck I want to. By the way, look at this guy. Ever since we got back from Cuba and I got this hat back, I got this hat as a joke. And now this guy, you know, he's, he's actually turned communist. What? What? I, I mean, the, just what you're running here. Is this a communism after all? I fucking hate you, man. I, this fucking guy is never happy. I'm just depressed. I love him. I just drink a lot. Jeez, a little TMI there. Anyways, so um, you guys already know the deal. If you guys want to watch this the best uh, you know possible way, watch it on your phone, watch it on your tablet, so that way you get to see the whole thing, you know, uh, horizontal, right? I'm going to get it right one of these days. Um, as opposed to like watching it on YouTube or what have you, um, you know, just on the desktop where you get the bars on the side. Anyways, I want to go to a bar. That sounds good right now. Bro, it's it's 10 in the morning. What, what's wrong with you? Anyways, listen, um, you already know the deal. Just uh, enjoy the rest of the show. Hey, guys, I'm a little sad. I need you guys to help me out. I posted a picture on Instagram um, a little while ago, and nobody's liking my picture. I feel so sad. So if you're watching this, please go and like my post go like my post all right um it's just a picture of me with my halloween costume but uh yeah when i posted it i only got two likes from two accounts i've never even heard of so and it just like stayed like that so i was like man maybe something's wrong with my account my instagram maybe i'm getting shadow banned you know regardless so what i did is like i just deleted the post and i reposted it and now I only have two likes me and a friend of mine so please, like my picture, please, please, all right, all right? I need the affirmation from you guys. I need the, um, that love. But honestly, I, I really don't care. I just thought it was really weird, and, and, uh, and I don't know what the hell's going on. Either everyone's either having a really fun Halloween fun time today, or no one cares. I think everyone's just having fun. Hey, you know, I just realized that today, October 31st, not only is it Halloween, not only is it like the Day of the Dead stuff, but also, it's the day that Bitcoin was born. That was the way the, the day that the white paper was released. Pretty. So to add a little bit more context, October 31st, 2008 was the day that Satoshi Nakamoto actually released the white paper officially. So today, Bitcoin is 11 years old. Happy birthday. Here, let's go a little deeper. Who created Bitcoin? October 31st, 2008, Satoshi Nakamoto publishes white paper titled Bitcoin, a peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash system via the cryptography, the cryptography mailing list. On January 3rd, 2009, Satoshi releases the Bitcoin source code and software client to the world. 2009-2010, Satoshi updates the source code and writes hundreds of posts totaling 80,000 words, length of a novel. April 23rd, 2011, Satoshi vanishes from the internet after emailing a developer saying he has moved on to other things. Interesting. So today is the day. You know, after reading that, that was actually pretty cool because, you know, a lot of us don't really know the history of Bitcoin. And a lot of us just assume, you know, a lot of things. And, uh, you know, for me, for example, I, I honestly thought it was in January 3rd, you know, like I, I that's when I thought that would, you know, that was the birth of Bitcoin, which it is because that is the day that the source code code was created. But really, the day that it was created was the day that the white paper was released. And then the code came a little bit after that. But very interesting um, because, as you guys all know, um, we're still in the infancy of this whole space. I know I don't talk about it as much as I used to on here, but, you know, I'm telling you guys, we're going to be talking about it a lot more in the next months and years as they come because... This is just uh, beyond the revolution. And um, I know a lot of you guys know what's up. So, And if for, the, for those that don't know what's up, well, that's what you guys are here. So you can get educated, right? All right, guys. Well, hope you guys are having an awesome day. La aparición de 16,000 pelotas de un en Teotihuacán, así como 1,500 canchas encontradas en el área de los 40, nos trae el gran significado de este deporte tuvo en la vida de los habitantes de esta región. Con respecto a las canchas encontradas en nuestro estado, podemos mencionar la zona arqueológica de Ismael, en la cual puede apreciarse una pequeña cancha con los aros empotrados en la
la mitad de las paredes de 200 años antes. Castillo que demuestra que este deporte fue muy antiguo entre los mayas. Scary. Contrario a lo que se suponía hasta hace unos años atrás. En esta gran ciudad de Mérida, la antigua ciudad de se han encontrado más de 40 cartas del juego de pelota de diversas medidas. Happy Halloween. Qué maravilloso descubrimiento. Guys, well, I'm in, I'm in its center now, um, but. 15, 20 minutes, closer to 20 minutes uh, before I get home. And uh, yeah, the reason I'm walking home is because there was no Ubers. And um, Christian, she's on her way home now already. She, she was able to find the bus that took her straight to her house. That bus does not go to my house anyways, but um, yeah, there's no real bus route or anything like that for me right now. So I'm just walking home right now. It's already been like a 30 minute walk, give or take. Um, 30, actually 35 minute walk. I'm like 15 minutes into it. I got 20 minutes left, to give or take, to get home. But yeah, man, you know, uh, Christian got lucky. She got, she lucked out where she was able to get a bus to take her home. But the reason I haven't found an Uber is because not only is it, you know, crazy expensive right now, it's like uh, 200 pesos, give or take. But it was like a 15 minute wait. And it's like, man, I know how that shit is. I'm waiting 15 minutes and that shit's probably not even gonna get there to like 20, 35, you know, who knows? And I'm like, you know what, fuck it. I really just walk home, get some fucking crazy exercise and then just pass the fuck out when I get home. Well, I gotta take a shower because I'm drenched in sweat. But anyways, uh, at least it was a crazy fun night. Lots of adventure, way better than what I originally anticipated. And um, yeah, it was just super fun and super awesome. So, all right, you know, um, at least um, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm making this walk a lot easier by talking to you guys because, man, you know, I, I forgot my headphones, I forgot everything, and it's just like, I just can't wait to get home. All right, guys, I'll see you guys later, right? Turn across the street here. <laughs> later. So, yeah, guys, this is why I decided to walk home because, as you guys can see, look at this crazy amount of traffic everywhere. And it's funny because, again, I'm almost home. I'm like maybe 10 minutes 15 minutes home 10 minutes away from getting home but it's just funny because that's how it's been for like 35 minutes that's how much traffic there's been for like 35 minutes so actually again walking home was the only option for me fucking man christian got lucky man she really looked out on the bus fuck already hard at work on tomorrow's video vlog thingamajiggy well you already know the deal well because last night as you guys already know i was out there recording uh el dia de los muertos la paseo el paseo el paseo de las animas which is just uh, the spirit walk so yeah i was out there recording all night i'm fucking dead exhausted a lot of uh, a lot of fun a lot of work you know a lot of a lot of cool stuff uh that we i was doing but now i'm back here in the office as you guys already know um editing the video so that i can upload it so that you guys can watch it tomorrow morning uh at the, at the day of the dead i think the day of the dead is celebrated today november 1st and november 2nd out here in the yucatan they celebrate it on october 31st the first and the second it's a little different things are a little different out here but i have been learning a lot about um that um that holiday and all that stuff it's it was really just just the, the fact that um back when the spaniards came They, um, they had all their culture and all their religion and all their customs out here, the Mayan people and all that stuff. And then the, the Spanish were forcing them to take on their religion. So this was a way in which they could take on the Christian religion, but at the same time, you know, remain with their own, um, you know, religious beliefs and cultural beliefs and, and just beliefs in general. And this was a way to incorporate, you know, and uh, appease the Spanish while they still got to do all their cool stuff awesome history all righty well i'm making really good progress on the editing today but i just realized i completely forgot that um i have to go to my girlfriend's house in a few hours because uh again today is the day of the dead and it's like a big holiday and so they're having like a big uh meal and like a whole like um you know just holiday thing um so i gotta go over there i'm really hoping i don't have to take my computer so i can so I, to work over there but I'm trying to, I'm debating all that. Um, I might film a little bit tonight to add to today's video and then just uh, work super late through the night editing this video. I really hope Christian lets me work. <laughs> But regardless, um, I'm still going to have to be working through the night uh, because I want to make sure that this uh, video is uh, done. It's all about 
um, that it's all about um, how do I say this? Uh, you know, setting um, uh, goals for yourself and and then, and then making sure you achieve them. You know, I can easily, easily, you know, already like upload something else. Okay, for Saturday and just um, you know edit this on Saturday and then upload it on another day. But then you know that will kind of like defeat the whole purpose. You know what I mean? It's like um, you know you people want to see the Day of the Dead video on the Day of the Dead, which is November 2nd, which is Saturday. And again, it's all about like, you know, am I willing to do the work or not? If I can't even do this, if I can't even finish this in time, even if I got to work through the night and upload it right before I got to upload it, um, then am I willing to do anything else? And you know, that's why, you know, these are the things that make you a badass or not. Well, I'm still here editing. It's already like one o'clock PM. You see, look at that. You, know, you can't really see it's dark, but anyways, it's coming out really good. And actually, I'm really happy with uh, the way it's coming out and all that good stuff. But yeah, I was just getting in contact with uh, with Christian, and uh, she's like, oh yeah, take your time. You know, we're out here taking our time, you know, blah, blah, blah. And it's, you know, it's just weird because it's like, I kind of get like that feeling like it's like Thanksgiving or something, you know. Um, only I'm not cooking for once. And so they're over there, you know, her and her grandma and I think her aunt and some family, you know, they're just out cooking and doing all the traditional stuff. It's like a thing called uh, El Pib, P-I-B, uh, and that's like a tamal, like El Pib. I've never had it before, but I'm going to have it for the first time later today. And uh, yeah, so it's really, really cool. It, it, it feels, you know, it's very holiday-ish and she's off all the way through Monday and today is Friday. It feels already like a Saturday or Sunday, so I'm looking forward to this weekend. Even though I'm going to be doing a lot of work, uh, editing and all that good stuff, uh, it's still, I don't know, I like the vibes. And it's already getting it cooling down a little bit. It's like, oh, you know, now 98 degrees, I think. So, you know, things are looking good. Okay, it's not that hot, but still. <laughs> Alright, I already finished editing and I'm just waiting for uh, my ride to go to grandma's house and have, uh, uh, not Christmas dinner, but what is this? Uh, oh yeah, um, Dia de los Muertos uh, dinner, El Pib. They also told me to bring some alcohol so I can offer that to the dead. So, hell yeah man, I'm liking this kind of party already, so fuck yeah. So yeah, I don't know if the last part got cut off on the other one, but it's El Pib. I'll show you when we get there. Good morning, everybody. How's everybody doing out there? Happy Monday. Oh, wait a minute. Happy Tuesday morning. That's right. It was a long weekend for me anyway. Hope you guys had an amazing weekend yourselves. I know you guys already went back to the grind yesterday. But actually, I was on the grind yesterday too. I was actually working through the night. But that's another story for another day. Actually, today is that day. And I'm going to tell you that story. So actually, I had a really long weekend. In case you guys were not aware, it was Halloween at Dia de los Muertos. Um, also on Sunday, I went out to like a Pueblo, like an hour away to go visit some of Christian's family. Yesterday was also kind of like a holiday type day out here in Mexico and for her and uh, for me, even though I was doing a little work, yeah, for the most part, I was also like a kind of like a holiday type of thing. So, you know, yeah, it's just finally back to work. I feel ener energized. I actually got somebody coming in a little while. He's going to come fix something uh, in the house. But uh, yeah, I just got a lot of things to do. I got to go see a client later today. Once that guy leaves the house, I also got to get back to work. I got a lot of things to do. I got a lot of ed videos to edit. And um, yeah, I actually got pretty caught up this weekend. This weekend felt like uh, like a huge blur. It was like a five-day weekend almost. And uh, But yet, I did so much. I accomplished so much. And uh, as a matter of fact, I made a lot of videos for the channel. And um, I hope you guys are 
you know, getting to watch them. You know, like the Cuba video that I uploaded today or the Mexico videos that I uploaded the weekend. Anyways, you guys have a lot to watch. See you later. All right, guys. Well, I'm already on my walk over to go see my client. Um, I'm going to go check out this video and photography I did for them. We're going to go see it together, see what they want, you know, change and fix and all that good stuff. So I'm on my way there now. Got my camera. I'm going to do a little Monday motivation for next week and all that good stuff. So, all right. Well, I'll see you guys later. Hope you guys are having an awesome Taco Tuesday. Mmm, tacos. All right. Well, I'm back in the office. Sorry I didn't get to record much on the way back or when I got back, but whatever. You already know the deal. So, yeah, I'm already done editing one video. And uh, I was killing some time by talking to you guys and letting you know that I'm done with one video. And um, now I'm just going to keep editing videos because that's pretty much what I'm going to be doing today. Um, got a list of videos that I got to edit. And um, I got to finish up some other edits, you know, for, uh, you know, the client, uh, you know, just to finish that up. And, you know, that that's about it. You know, pretty chill Tuesday, you know, actually pretty chill Tuesday. Um, yeah, I hope you guys are chilling too. What are you guys having for, for lunch, for dinner? Tacos? It's Tuesday? Alright, I'm gonna go back to work. Good morning, happy Wednesday, hump day, extravaganza, super fun day. Buenos dias. Did you know that Buenos dias was actually created by the Diaz brothers of uh, Guanajuato, Mexico? Look at that guy. Look at this guy. You guys ready? Are you guys ready or what? I'm ready. I got Lambo not ready. He's over there still sleeping. Look at him. This new time change thing is uh, all whack. But anyways, guys, you already know the drill. It's happy hump day. It's Wednesday. And um, if you're in front of your computer or if you can, well, whatever. Anyways, I'm going to be live on YouTube in an hour and 15 minutes your time. 11 a.m. Eastern. I'm going to be live like I am every single Wednesday. But again, guys, it's a little early. As you guys can see, I'm still with my, you know, broken shirt. Um, Lambo's still sleeping over there. Um, but we're getting ready. We're getting ready. So see you guys in a few in an hour. Hope you guys are having a wonderful hump day. I'm out here busy working. You know, just editing some videos. I was uh, doing a little research, doing a little work. You know, got some coffee. You know, it just made me round two. Been an actually pretty busy day. It's the day has actually flown by. Can't believe it's already Wednesday. It's already Wednesday afternoon. I've already done so much. It, it, it feels like almost like Monday, but you know, at the same time, I don't feel like Monday. I feel like almost Friday. I'm pretty tired already. But anyways, that's why I'm making more coffee. I'm gonna keep this thing going, and uh, you know, gotta work through the night. I actually got a lot of things to do because I want to see if I can, uh, you know, catch up on some things so that way tomorrow I can be ahead. And you, you already know the deal. So, all right, back to work. Coffee time. Yeah, next to other gods. All right, the weather is finally nice enough where I can wear a T-shirt. Like a normal fucking human being. Uh, and not have to, you know, wear a wife beater all day long. I mean, you know, I don't mind wearing one, but it's definitely uh, an improvement to be able to wear a shirt. And it feels nice. It feels like um, the weather has just cooled down. Uh, I hope, you know, that cold front that's affecting, I, I'm guessing, like a lot of the U.S. right now and Canada is like under ice or snow or something. I think I heard... Uh, but yeah, you know, out here is nice and cool, so we're feeling it out here too. I approve. Lambo approves. That's right, we're about to get some dinner. Hungry. I'll catch you guys later. Comments what you guys think I should do naming these uh, week in reviews starting next year because again, we're In case you're wondering you know, what it looks like on a tablet or on a phone. Man, I can't believe it's already almost midnight. Fuck, I've been working through the night. Anyways, um, yeah, I think I'm going to wrap it up. I hope you guys had an amazing, happy Thursday. Oh, wait, Wednesday. It's Thursday tomorrow. I'll get back to work tomorrow. So I'm going to see if I can uh, finish up here this last little thing and uh, hit the hay. And uh, we got to throw back Thursday tomorrow. So, <laughs> man, I, I thought it was already Thursday. Uh, man, anyways, I need some rest. I'm tired. See you guys manana. Bye. Hey guys, how's it going? Happy Throwback Thursday. Today, 
I'm, I'm here with my shirt, you know, throwback to a time when I used to wear t-shirts on a regular basis as opposed to just wearing wife beaters. <laughs> so yeah, um, in other places I've lived, like LA, Seattle, and so forth, it's actually been cooler weather, and um, I've actually had to wear not just one shirt, but many shirts, you know, because it's cold. You guys, if you guys are from there, you guys know it gets cold sometimes. But out here, since it's actually so hot, I'm always wearing my wife beater. And again, look, look, some people just go straight naked and just wear like a hat. Look at this guy. Anyways, so yeah, you know, um, so I hope you guys are, you know, enjoying uh, today. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Thursday, having a wonderful week. Um, it's November. It's already here. Thanksgiving is right around the corner. I think I'm actually going to be celebrating it down here. Christmas is right around the corner. And the, the end of the year, the end of the decade is right around the corner. How about that, huh? So those are some uh, coins that I have from Cuba from when I went to go visit down there and stuff like that. Um, and that, not only did I get those coins, you know, I got the hat and, you know, a bunch of other cool stuff like memories, the best things of all. But anywho, um, so the reason I was showing you those coins and showing you the coins even before that, um, the Mexican Libertad, is because um, the next Cuba episode is going to be talking about silver. And stuff like that because I had an encounter with somebody down there and um, I wanted to share it with you when I was in Cuba and uh, it was really nice and really cool and you know just to go show you you know what I mean the importance of um, currency of money and all that stuff you know all the stuff that I talk about that I used to talk about that I, on a regular basis on my channel but you know people are forgetting about these things like gold silver um, you know had the importance of having gold silver Bitcoin and all these things but <clears throat> regardless um, I'm going to start touching on it again on Tuesday because, well, it, it was a topic of conversation with uh, uh, with people out there in Cuba. And uh, we're going to have an episode uh, coming up this Tuesday, you know what I mean? So um, um, talking about that and going through that whole experience is really cool. And then, um, yeah, what else? I'm, I'm going to see if I can make a few more of these videos and not just talk about it on my Wednesday live streams. All right, got to go back to work. Hey, hey, so are we going to that bar or what, Jose? Come on. It's 10.30 a.m. I mean, it's happy hour somewhere. This guy. First of all, the bars aren't open that early here yet. Um, so, no. So, here. Just, um, here. Finish this bottle off, all right? Some cheap tequila. Okay. Thank you. Here, I'll put it here for you, all right? Okay. All right. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that. It was fun, um, you know, being here this whole week for you. As always, it's fun making these things for you. It's always, it's it's fun. Everything's fun. You already know the deal. And I hope you guys are having a fun time, too, and enjoying your lives. I mean, fuck. I mean, if you're not, then go do that. Stop watching this shit and go enjoy your life a little bit. All right? Do something. Fly a kite. Anyways. <laughs> guys, thanks again for watching. You already know the deal. Um, I'm going to give a shout-out to all my patrons. Shout-out to all my you know, every single one of my contributors, every single one of my, you know, viewers out there. Thank you. All of you guys are fucking awesome. We, me and Lambo love you guys to death. Thank you. We love you. We love you. All right. <laughs> and, um, yeah, you know, that's it. You already know the deal. Don't forget to please like, please subscribe, please share, please hit that bell icon. And, uh, more importantly than anything else, stay awesome. And, uh, see you guys here tomorrow and, uh, next week and see you here every day. I upload every day. See you guys here. Bye. Laters. Hey, can you help me open this thing? You know, it's a little hard. Thanks. Thanks, guys.